All right, so what I'm going to show you, for those of you that haven't mastered it yet, here's how to lick your plate clean. Now, a regular plate, you know, you can figure it out for yourself. I thought I'd go to the next level and show you the, the more tougher ways, which is licking a saucer, because you got that it's kind of a bowl. So this is how to lick it. And properly. You might get a little sauce on your nose because it is a saucer. But you know, you can practice. So, I've actually got a lot of hummus in this. <laughs> I put a little too much. So, first let me just drink a little bit out. Alright, there we go. So what you want to do is you want to tilt tilt it and you want to start on the outside and kind of work your way in on angles. Because if you just go right from the center you are going to get a face full of sauce, right? So outside on angles, little angles, work your way in. Think of a cat. <laughs> this has got to be a unique video. I'm going to check and see if somebody's done a video like this. Alright, <clears throat> let's get this puppy licked. Lick and spin, lick and spin. Outside working in. Hope this isn't grossing anybody out. <laughs> it shouldn't, but you never know. We're almost done. So as you can see, I worked my way. And I do have that tiny spot on my nose. The tiniest spot, but that's it. There we go. I licked my plate clean. <clears throat> Not too messy. Little spot on the nose. So there you go. So now you might be wondering uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> well, it was a practical lesson in how to lick your plate. But why, why am I encouraging you to lick your plate? Well, I could probably list lots of reasons, but mainly, first of all, because it's fun. When you're a kid, don't you want to lick your plate? So, it's a great way to embrace your inner child, and it's, a, it's enjoyable, you know? You, why waste that good sauce, whatever it is, at the bottom of your plate? <clears throat> so yeah, it's a great way to just be a kid and enjoy it. And, um... What more reason do you need, really? <laughs> but you can also look at it as gratitude. Because we, we often, uh, we do, we, we take for granted the little things. This is how the mind suffers. And uh, instead of being in the now, instead of seeing the little gifts that are in front of us, every little, every second, really, just endless gifts. So it's a great way to appreciate it, to, and by that little symbolic practice, you know, you start to create more of that in your life. So it's just one little easy, fun way to do that as well. Be a kid, be in the now, be the change, right? We know that uh, 
when we tap into that childlike nature, that's very close to the source. That's, if not the source, it's very close. It, it puts us in a state that taps into it. So, yeah, I could probably go on lots of reasons to lick your plate. Not a real a whole lot, to, you know, yet people shy away from it. Give me one good reason that too. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, if you're at a fancy restaurant, fine. I still say do it, but, you know, okay, not in a restaurant, just at home or around friends. Give me one good reason not to lick your plate. Come on, one good reason. That really makes sense. There isn't one. Anything you come up with would just be a paintbrushed, paintbrushed judgment that really isn't true at all. Well, because it says, because it's that, yeah, this is just judgments. But what practical, real reason would there not to be to lick your plate? If you want to waste food? <laughs> you want to waste the opportunity? You just tap in your inner child, be in the now, practice gratitude by relishing, by relishing every last bit on your plate. You're living in a deep state of gratitude. So yeah, lots of reasons. So there you go, there's some tips. Practice often, pick your plate, love the night.